Fish Obsession here, and today I'll be showing you how to make a really cool DIY uh, aquarium for crayfish or semi-aquatic insects and stuff like that. So first thing uh, I want to get out of the way is do not uh, use this setup to keep real fish. Um, these uh, boxes are fairly weak. And if you want to keep real fish, uh, just get a fish tank because this is nowhere near uh, like five gallons that a, a small fish would need at the least. Um, I'm going to be using this box to keep juvenile crayfish that I've bred, uh, the ones I really like, and to make sure that they don't get killed by any of their tank mates. Uh, this will just be kind of like a quarantine. Not really a quarantine, but just a little safe house for crayfish that I've bred that look really nice and I want to keep them until they grow up. You can, you would also be able to fit uh, aquatic insects or semi-aquatic insects in this kind of setup. Just uh, remove the current because a lot of insects don't really like uh, the current that I'll be using. So the, for the materials, the only thing you really need to go out and buy are uh, these two things here. This one I got for three dollars and this one you can buy one of these for around five to eight dollars on Amazon. This one is literally three dollars. I'll post the description. I'll post the link in description and this one is any kind of power head. Just search up aquarium pump on Amazon. Like a bunch of five dollar things will pop up. All you need to do is order those. Less than ten dollars. Um, this I'll be using from, from a mature tank to, for the bacteria. This I'll be using as a filter while I also want to create a little stream, so I want to use this as a, as a uh, pump. You don't really need this. This is, for me, uh, completely aesthetic, whereas this is the real filter that's working. So, in reality, we'll be having a $3 filter, and this is really just additional. This box, you probably have one. Just look around, um, and in staples are like a dollar. These three rocks. These are all rocks that I've collected. Um, there is a step-by-step -step process to how to make sure rocks are aquarium safe. Uh, th there's a bunch of videos on that. Um, these are aquarium safe rocks. As you can see, this is half of a brick, which will be great hiding spaces. A smaller other rock I found in a creek and uh, a rock I found outside. And uh, I did test these to make sure they're aquarium safe. And these are some pebbles that are outside of my house that I've cleaned. You want to make sure you clean your rocks, but don't clean them with soap because that'll be bad for the animals. They'll leave residue. It's very bad. I'll also be using a bit of substrate from my older mature tank to help with the beneficial bacteria inside the tank. So this will be basically everything you'll need in this uh, setup. It'll be really easy. Uh, we won't be filling the water full. We'll be filling it only around halfway. Uh, one, to make sure nothing escapes, and two, uh, this thing can't really handle the stress of having a full uh, water water level, so we want to keep it a bit low. This is a really DIY setup. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this uh, for like any kind of serious setups. Uh, you could uh, raise a crayfish in here or a small insect, but um, it, th this really is a, a DIY setup that will not be permanent, most likely, if you really get interested in keeping the animal you keep. Oh, and I almost forgot, uh, you also need water conditioner. This is super important. Uh, I use Prime. I got this for $5. Uh, but if you're really, really uh, not really wanting to spend any kind of money, uh, you can use bottled water. It will, be at, it will actually be more expensive in the long run. But uh, if you don't want to go out or something... Just make sure you're not using distilled bottled water. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is make sure everything is clean. That means rinsing your rocks, which I've already done. I'm just showing you this for the purpose of the video. Rinsing your pebbles, which is built. Also, I've already done this, but, you know. And then you also want to rinse out this, uh, your uh, container. Uh, do not rinse this with soap or any kind of detergent very bad it will leave residues and will hurt your animal you want to just wash it out with tap water tap water will be just fine all right and the next all right so now what we have to do is uh do some aquascaping so uh i think i'm only going to use uh, these two rocks 
and I'm not going to use this rock personally because one, I think it's a bit too many rocks for this thing to bear, and also I think it's a bit ugly and kind of mossy. I don't really like it as much as I did uh, the other ones. This won't be a perfect little cave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the cave here, and I'm going to place the rock here, and um, this will be my two points. And actually, I want to actually do this. Uh, because that way the weight is spread between the major rocks. Now the next thing I want to do is get my pebbles and throw them in. And uh, personally, I'm going to put the pebbles by the uh, the bigger rock, and that will look very nice. Uh, that the next thing I am going to do is get my uh, substrate, and uh, this is tank substrate from a mature tank. You can always just get more pebbles if you don't have a mature tank. I just want the bacteria to be boosted in this tank because the filter will not be as strong. Alright, so now that I've done uh, aquascaping, I keep the pebbles up here in the older, um, the older mature substrate here. I've got a little cave where my crayfish can hide and a rock so they can stand on and hopefully not uh, jump themselves out. Now the next thing I'm going to do is install where my sponge filter is going to be and I plan this to be uh, back here. Right, to make the pump fit better I ended up having to switch things around a bit but I still think it looks fairly nice. So uh, now all I have to do is sit and let the water cycle and uh, we'll be done. And uh, how to cycle the water is you just want to pour some fish food in there once a day and wait a couple weeks or maybe a week or two if you're uh, really impatient. And uh, then you can put your animal in the tank. Very nice. So this is the completed final project. I really like how it's working out. I really love that slight flow of the river we have here and the sponge filter is back there. Rearranged some stuff, did a bit of rearranging, and uh, it's looking good. So now because I already have the beneficial bacteria inside, it's been a week and uh, all we have to do is add the fish and uh, we'll be actually taking a look at uh, our baby crayfish.